Hey third graders, welcome to social studies. We are going to learn about the Mayan, the ancient Mayan civilization today. So where did the ancient Mayans live? They lived in southern Mexico in Central America in the rainforest. And this map here shows where they lived. We're going to watch this short video to learn more about the Mayan civilization. So please pay attention. <laughs> Check it out, Moby. I made a Maya mask. What was the Maya civilization like? The Maya civilization dates back almost 4,000 years. It extended around Central America. In areas that are now parts of Mexico, Guatemala, Belize, El Salvador, and Honduras. The civilization was made up of different cities, each with its own king. The nobility lived in the center of the cities. Their palaces were made of limestone, a type of rock. The common people lived outside the cities. They mostly lived in homes made of wood and adobe, a type of clay. The Maya built pyramids and temples, where they held religious ceremonies. They also built observatories, where they studied the movement of the sun, moon, stars, and planets. The Maya used the heavenly bodies to organize and track time in different ways. They used phases of the moon and also tracked Venus in the sky. Our calendar groups seven days into a week, but one of the Maya calendars groups 20 days into a week. What was Maya culture like? Religion was an important part of Maya civilization. Temples were often built on top of pyramids so they could be closer to the heavens. The Maya offered food and gifts to their gods and ancestors. Sometimes they even offered blood. Ball games were also an important part of Maya culture. The games were used to settle arguments between people and even kingdoms. The Maya traded with other peoples in the area. They traded salt and seashells and jade and obsidian, which are types of stones. They also traded cacao, which is used to make chocolate. The Maya made pottery out of clay, created jewelry out of jade, and built sculptures out of stucco, which is a mixture of different rocks. They also built stele, which are monuments carved out of stone. The stele honored rulers and other important people. The Maya developed a writing system that was made up of different symbols. They also developed a number system that was made up of dots and bars. Today, experts have figured out how to read and understand some of the language. We know a lot about the ancient Maya because of the writings they left behind. What happened to some of the Maya cities? At one point, millions of Maya people were living in the cities. Buildings were added and the cities grew. People wrote down stories and recorded what was happening. Between the years 700 and 800, people left many of their cities. An archaeologist is a person who studies human history by observing things people left behind. So, we've learned about this word a lot when we were learning about ancient China and when we learned about um, ancient Egypt. We learn about all these ancient cultures because of archaeologists. They are the people who study human history by observing the artifacts that those ancient civilizations left behind. So one similarity that I've noticed in every video that we watched is they all talk about archaeologists. All right, let's watch this video, finish this video. Archaeologists found that in some cities, few buildings were built during that time. Also, 
no new writings were found from that time. Experts aren't sure why people left. War might have driven out people. Trade might have gotten more difficult, forcing people to move. A drought is a long period of time with little or no rain. Some experts believe drought drove people from the cities. But many Maya cities continued to grow for hundreds of years. The Maya people never disappeared. Today, millions of Maya people live throughout Mexico and Central America. But the reason why the Maya left some cities is still a big mystery today. Moby, I don't think aliens had anything to do with it. All right, friends, so please comment in our discussion what did you learn about the Mayan civilization and then what were some similarities or differences you noticed between the ancient Mayan civilization, the ancient China, and the ancient Egypt. All right, and if you're interested in learning more, you can always look up books on Epic about the Mayan civilization um, or on Pebble Go or, in, or other websites too.